Yes, yields are dropping. So anything as expected or even slightly better news, of course, pushes the metrics of Fed easing and all the associated market activity. If we look at income for May, it was up half of 1%, better than expected. And it's the juiciest level in ties March when it was up half 1%. We started the year up 1.1%. Now, if we look at spending, spending is less than expected. So the income's holding up, the spending dropping a bit, up two tenths, which actually was last month, but last month got revised to only up one tenth. Real spending adjusting for inflation, up three tenths. Uh, in March, it was up four tenths. And at the beginning of the year, it was down three tenths. Uh, if we look at the price indices, and this is the main reason we're seeing the market move that we are with lower interest rates, PCE price index month over month unchanged as expected, but that does follow up three tenths. Unchanged equals November of last year. To find a smaller number, you're going down four tenths of a percent. That's all the way back in April of 2020. If you look at a month over month of the PCE price, what we're looking at there, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, month or uh, year over year, excuse me, is 2.6. And that is one tenth less than last look. So we're making some progress. It's still not 2%, but many say it doesn't matter if you reach the target as long as the Fed is confident we're going to get closer to 2.2%. 2.6 actually isn't the lowest of the year. We had 2.5 the first two months of the year, just to put a face on it. Now, if you look at PCE uh, core, and this is a month over month, it's up one tenth, exactly as expected. In the rearview mirror, it was actually an upward revision from up two tenths to up three tenths, up one tenth. Uh, uh, to find a smaller number, you're going back to November of last year when it was up 0.09. And finally, year over year, 2.6. This is the core, maybe the most important number, and that follows 2.8. Uh, 2.6 is the lightest level, and I'm going to have to go back a bit here. 2.6 is the lightest level going all the way back to March of 21 when it was 2.25. So once again, the markets say it all. Uh, we've dropped a few basis points from 430 to 427 and change on a 10, and we have made progress. The real question is, is how's the Federal Reserve going to handle progress in a world where inflation may return and be bumpy? Are they going to be flexible and lower rates a bit only to raise them again? These are all questions that we really need to answer, uh, and I don't know that we're going to get enough data points to do it before we get the first ease, which still looks like September. Back to you, Andrew.